Oh, Tyron came back. Okay. Hey, man. What's up? Hey, what's up? Yeah, I'm stuck out here all the way out here in the east of Virginia. Damn. <laughs> That's why my Wi-Fi acting all retarded. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was over there at, um, what's his name, Carrie Davis's uh, beach house with Miss Lisa Cypress and all that. Had some drama going on. Uh-oh, 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 stand, uh-oh, uh-oh, stand by. Be, 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 be. My, man, my man got bold tonight. My man got bold. <laughs> What, what happened? Get ready, get ready. <laughs> Jabali Munene. <laughs> What's up, man? My welcome, man. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> welcome. I, I'll give you some credit for showing up. I'll give you that much credit. Man, listen, all I want to <laughs> say, all I want to say is that here's the thing. If you had anything useful to say. All you would have to do is replay the nine minutes uninterrupted that I gave you on my. Oh, show. we seen up plenty. We seen plenty. Tyrone, you gonna let me talk or you gonna read him out? Nah, we here to All treat you, you like you. how you treat us. Listen, we listen, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. All you would have to do if you really have something to say, Wait, mute his mic. Replay, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you got clearly you guys are scared for me to make my, my statement. Go ahead, go ahead, laughing. go ahead. Okay. If we gonna call you Brandon. Look, we ain't gonna call you the F- R- nonsense. If you have something to <laughs> I, offer, I actually played I actually played that before at the beginning. If you have something to offer, all you would need to do is replay your nine minute monologue on my channel, and then you wouldn't even need to talk about me, right? The reality is this. You, guys like you, guys like Tyrone, the only objective you have is to disparage and discredit. Disparage people from going to Africa, brother. Well, that's fine. (laughs) But what are you going to do with them once they stop, once they decide to stay here? What are you going to do? So you say, you say, so you saying we discourage you from going to Africa. That's what you're trying to say. Yeah, we're discouraging you from returning to Africa, motherland. Once you finish discouraging people from going to Africa, <laughs> what plan are you, do you have, have for them to can implement? Can you um, explain to the people why are you in East Africa and not the one um, part of Africa that your alleged DNA test says that you come from? Why are you worried about where I'm at? <laughs> well, you say you, you say you come you from West Africa. African. Why are you appropriating um, the wrong African? Why are you not appropriating and um, patronizing the right Africans that you claim that you descend from? So you call yourself Swahili. So That's because I descend, African because brother. I descend from them, that means I have to go. So there you and... descend from East Africa. So why don't you? Why don't Chinese people? Why do Chinese people go to America to do business? Why don't they just wait, do wait, business wait, with China? Wait, 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 Brandon. Brandon, you say you descend from East Africa? Huh? Huh? I never said that. Oh, he's asking the question. Swahili name? You just said it uh, a few seconds ago. Since you Kayla Genesis, all you know, he can do is talk so shit. Why don't you step up, Kayla? Why you <laughs> can go to the right Tyrone, African Tyrone, that you descend from? Tyrone, my question to you is after you get done. No, 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 no. Like Indian is a trial. Do? Like you like you do on your page, Tyrone. my Indianness ain't on trial. Your Africanness is on trial. Tyrone, after you get done trying to discredit me, what is <laughs> what plan do you have for? Oh, I have time? a plan. I'm. I'm oh, oh, yeah, he definitely has a. Oh, yeah. My, um, don't got got no plan. Oh, yeah, he's doing he's something big. Doing what something big. Doing? It's promoting Indigenous American language. Promoting indigenous American language. Yes, it's um fixing you our cultural um, indigenous ties American back language. to this landmass. You don't Do you even have any cultural ties to an African you don't even speak in, in um, indigenous East African American language. language. I know my relatives over here. What about your aunt okay. twice removed? Your uncle's twice hey, removed. Hey, introduce us to some Brandon. of them. Introduce us to some of them. Because oh, I'm right here in the room with my family. We are already Listen, in Virginia. It's a lot of claims, but it ain't never no problem. A lot of claims, bro. A lot of claims. I'm in Virginia with my mom no and my sister and Where's the TV evidence? show. No, he's good. Trust Here's me. The, 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 on the, the, Summit with Miss Lisa Cypress. Huh. Where's the evidence? 
The Akamak Summit. I'm right you here. Make me oh, you you just, he, look, did you hear what he said? He said he says he's right at a summit right now. Native American yeah, summit. Native American is a, okay, if you're at a summit right now, uh, open up your camera and show us where the summit is at. Oh, I just left it earlier. They oh, just closed the <laughs> I'm going back tomorrow. Uh, you say he's going back tomorrow. Man, this dude just makes oh, up. No, no, he's not. He's doing a presentation there on it. Okay, where's the? Why did you post that to your YouTube channel? Huh? I just came from Carrie Davis's beach house. Okay, way. so why? So why didn't you post some video of this summit? Oh, it's coming! It's coming! All right. Oh, that's what they always. Oh, it's it's going to be on my Instagram, by the way. Bro, listen. Tyrone, you're full as a matter of fact, crap. I said Alquan the link. Tyrone, you are not about to do anything. To, um, produce my show. It's always on channel. My all way. Tyrone. All yeah, he'll, he'll be pre all he'll be presenting that here when, when the time is right. And time. Marco, let me ask Tyrone a question. Okay, you're gonna teach black people in the, in the uh, indigenous American language. After you do that, what what is that gonna do to change the? Yeah, it promotes them, them to get motivated into finding their genealogy. Oh, so you're gonna teach it them, them, them to of learning of indigenous language besides receiving a culture from the FBI <laughs> to, um, to, to move them out of America and move into a black ethno state, la la land, Ooh. nothing. Else. Oh, okay. Oh, well, oh, wait. oh yeah. Wait, wait, we got the another FBI. chick in the, in the is audience. Is it true? Look, wait, wait, Brandon, 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 Brandon. Hold Here's the question. Here's the question. The FBI if you guys, listen, holiday, listen if you guys are Indians, why aren't you wait, guys wait, taking Brandon, up the reservation? Brandon, Brandon, hold up, baby. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> it's true that the FBI gave you an African holiday to make you so, give you something to be proud of. Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa, yeah. Milana Karanga. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're talking about Kwanzaa now? He yeah, just asked you a question. That's your black holiday. He created it to give us something to be proud of, right? I don't know. I don't, I mean. Uh, Maybe he's supposed to be up on your being Africanism, every, man. Every holiday in America is given by white folks. Uh -oh, yeah. uh oh, that's that. I like that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> there you go. Now, Kwanzaa has been given by white folks. And do you see me telling black people, go celebrate Kwanzaa? You don't see me telling black hey, people. Hey, it's, it's, it's red, black, and green. But you're bringing up stuff that it's I know. It's something to get us off of Eurocentrism. Bro, I've but never advocated that. It's founded on Eurocentrism. I have never advocated that. So you talked to the wrong okay. guy. All right, so you dismiss Kwanzaa. I don't care about holidays. No, but I'm saying you just. No, but it's an African holiday. It's something it's that we should hold on to because it's our culture, uh -huh. right? Listen, Alquan, can you make Tyrone shut up for a second so I can make my statement? If somebody wants to celebrate Kwanzaa, that's their right. Just like somebody celebrating Christmas, that's their right. Okay. So is it your right to go visit Africa? Listen, listen. <laughs> it's easy. Listen, there's a saying, right? <laughs> There's a thing. No matter where you go in the world, you will never find a statue of a critic. Both of you guys are nothing more than critics. Actually, we, we, come critics? With, we, we come with the facts that you can't refute. Just like you I play, facts. I play our discussion you know, last night, and the people and the people heard how you slickly you changed the argument. Well, Brandon, I got two more questions you for you with pan Africanism. If How you come got pan Africanism was given to you by small hands? Are you gonna control the world? No, no, he's asking you, you uh, some. He's asking you some questions. Valid well, questions. All right, all right, all right. Let, let him answer one at a time, one at a time. So he won't cry. That's your cartoon character sounding ass. All right, see, no, no insults needed. No, no, I didn't insult you, Brandon. I'm just talking about pan Africanism. Listen, believe. If you guys I'm not have facts, you personally, listen, I ain't bring listen. up your mama, I ain't bring up your I, 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 I just, just let, let, him, let him roll. Let's let's see what he has to say. I know he ain't got nothing to say, but let him let him do if it. If you guys have facts, you guys wouldn't have to worry about me. We drop facts every time I come through. I drop those facts. I drop that heat. That's why you Marco, had to block me. Marco, <laughs> listen, I gave you nine minutes. <laughs> To say whatever you want to say, and the people did not respond. Well, you I mean, didn't even give us time to get our information out. You just blocked people, us and put us on hold and muted our mic. 
Marco, did I not give you nine interrupted minutes on my channel? Well, you did interrupt a little bit, but yeah, uh, and, and I and did play. You insulted us. Yeah, I did play it back, and the people saw what you did. They saw how slick you were because the topic, I stayed on topic. You switched it over to I'm trying to discourage people from going to Africa. Bro, listen, I let you and talk. And then you insulted people's listen. relatives. Hey, Alquan, I let you talk for nine minutes. Mm. Nobody responded to you. If you let me talk for nine straight minutes on your channel, I guarantee I would make a connection with your audience. Okay, you know what? Since exactly you want you want to push that challenge up, okay, it's ten twenty, and I guess we're on the East Coast Eastern time. I guess we're uh, not doing nothing because uh, we, we should be clubbing. I guess it's it's so <laughs> we should be drinking forties, smoking some hair wine, some weed, or something. Hey, but before you hey, go, yo, oh, okay, okay. I got I got a question that uh that you could time his ass on. Okay. Yo, hey yo, uh Mr. Munene, uh Truth or Troll, uh Joseph of Ashra. Yo, which African culture would be most suitable for black people in America? Uh-oh. The uh, the African cultures, I would say that their culture that they currently practice now. Hold up, when you say they the when you say they, you realize Africa is the continent. And it's over 50 different countries and several different religions and cultures. You said, listen, you're not listening to my to my answer because you think you're smart, but you're not. No, you said, you said, said they. That, <laughs> let me finish. I said the culture that they practice now would be... Now, what would that be? Them. <laughs> that be, um, because when we look that, at our own culture, we don't find any type of Africanisms whatsoever. It, listen, listen, we, listen. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, no, wait. Let me, ask wait, let me get myself out. Let me get it out. Because Hard when we look at I'm one of your founding pan Africanists, okay, okay. Let me answer the question real quick, just so you don't have to seem like all we're right, biased. I, all right, I'll hold my um, defense. <laughs> Listen, yeah. Would you like I to have a question again? African Americans have a culture that they already practice because mm. they are Africans and they practice that culture and they are a unique group, they do not have to adopt an African culture. When they practice <laughs> whatever culture they practice, because they're Africans, that becomes an African culture. Like, I <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? Okay, am I gonna get my what? answer? Get uh, answer? Let him answer. No, it's still, it's still, it's still, sound like bullshit, but let him answer. <laughs> okay, I'll give you an example. There was a lady who asserted that, there was a lady, who asserted that African people in Africa created the daishiki, you know, the shirt people wear? Mm -hmm. but that was African created by the Danish, though. Wait, but African Americans, <laughs> God damn it, Tyrone, can I talk? African Americans created the, di the shirt that we know as uh -huh. a daishiki. Mm. The culture, we can create African culture because we are Africans as well. So we don't need so, to adopt some other African group culture. We can just why, create our own culture and that will work for us because we have the foundation or the fundamentals of what a culture is comprised of. Now we so, also got a lot of dysfunction, but for the most part, like black people in America- But you specified like, African culture. That's what he specified. Yeah, that, that's 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 what I asked you. What that, African culture? What and culture what over he means by black most suitable for us over and here. Because, and, and listen to the answer. This is the answer. Whatever culture we choose to practice in America is mm. African culture because we are Africans. So that sounds good. Oh, now, that's, where, that's, where, where is this culture at in <laughs> Africa now? Where is our culture in Africa? <laughs> what? Where is our, our culture where is in our, Africa? Right. What 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 culture in Africa represents the culture that we have over here? Where's the similarities? We we don't need we don't need to adopt the African culture. No 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 no, you you being slick. We said <laughs> <laughs> we said what where is our culture in Africa right now? And I don't want to hear nothing about rap music. People listening to rap music and you know that. No, yeah, because they what? they know that shit ain't ours. <laughs> Okay, so they, they so, know that rap shit is ours. They know they ain't theirs. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And, Wait a minute. And, 
So and that that you just so mentioned, that was created by Dutch. Okay, let me let me be, try to be clear because you just said that uh, we are African, so we're already practicing in African culture. So where is our culture being practiced Ooh, in yeah. Africa? Yeah, where is our culture being practiced over there in order for us to compare and contrast and say, yes, this is African culture we've been doing the whole time. Because look at them dudes over there. That's what, that's where we get it from. Whatever if you want to tell me that this is African culture. Whatever culture that we mm. practice is African culture because we are Africans. So we, mm. you guys talk about culture like culture mm. is something that just stays in one spot and never evolves. <laughs> yeah. Part, but that's in, in that same argument, you claim that um, Native American culture is not ours when we do have American Indian culture. No, you no, don't so find anything name like, one, name you don't find aspect. anything like jazz music name in Africa. One aspect, you don't Tyrone. find any name basketball one or no football in Africa. Hey, you don't find um, any, like athletes I'm or one. Uh, you know what? Name one aspect of Indian or Native American culture that Black people practice in America. Now you think that's a hard question to answer, but let him roll. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I'm not uh, saying Bra answer it. I I answer it right now. Braiding hair, the black styles that we cut hair in, especially throughout the nineties, those afros. When you look at the earliest, um, <laughs> the earliest, uh, the earliest, what, what do you call them? The earliest the did you just say of the Aborigines. Indians, did you just say Indians invented braiding hair? He didn't say yeah, invented. He, did. he didn't say invented. He didn't say invented. Yeah, so I didn't say invented, but we had it though. Yeah, all over the world braid hair, bro. Cultures no, all they over don't. the world braid hair. So no, they try not again. before us. Try again. I know the hell they don't. Try again. The only people that braid hair is the people who got cultures that were influenced by our people back in the day. And that's a fact. Tyron, why don't you uh, tell them about the tell them about the food culture? Listen, bro, the food culture, you before, every the world eats off of America. Long before, Even Africa has to listen, eat off America. Long they don't before, have any fucking plentiful plants that grow in Africa. Everybody oh, going to Africa for post. minerals. They're not the going post. to Africa for Tyron food. is moving the goalposts. So, no, you, that's a culture uh, trait. Food, food is culture. Guys, America. we're talking America. about okay. hair. Had the banana before Guys, Africa because banana pollen. Okay, he wants right, to well, stick on. He wants to stick on. He wants to stick on the hair braid. Right. Well, I, 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 I go a little deeper with you. I go a little deeper with you. Uh, okay, I'm about, I'm about to get on your ass right now. Wait, 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 wait. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How come we didn't bring any weapons? But hold, but Tyron, 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 two for troll. Hold on, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try to be fair. You know, I like being fair. Let's get the man. Nine minutes to rock the mic from. <laughs> All right. He, he said he, he said he could rock the house for nine minutes. I'll give him a topic. And he said he's gonna turn this mother out. That's what he said he's gonna he's gonna do. Yeah. So right now we're at uh 1027. Let right, me wait. Let me, let me wait till it turns to 28, and then uh we're gonna let him have it. Then it'll be uh what? Uh uh 37, 1037 or 737. Where is it? Now it's on you. It's yeah. on you. Yeah. All right. So, look, no matter where you go in the world, you will never find a statue of a critic, right? Anybody can point out the flaws and the holes and inconsistencies in someone's ideology. But once they do that, they have to introduce a counter plan or ideology, which will yield better results than the one that they're criticizing. All I hear is questions. What about this? What about that? What about this? What about that? Let's pretend like none of the past stuff ever existed. No past in Africa, no past in America. We are just at square one. We are the first human beings on the planet. Where do you go from this point to ensure the continued survival and the prosperity and advancement of your people. Now, this is my idea. Everyone doesn't have to leave America to be a part of Pan-Africanism. Everyone doesn't have to leave America to build something that will benefit us in America. All other countries, nationalities are in a race to get to Africa. 
when you go to Africa, you have more of a connection to those people than anybody else. They acknowledge this connection. Whether you believe you do or you don't, what matters is the fact that they acknowledge that connection. The fact that they acknowledge that connection means that they are more inclined to assist you in pursuing your goals there, which you already do that in America because you fought for civil rights, which Africans come to America and benefit from. So why not go to Africa and get a little bit of reciprocity for the things that you provided for them over here? To continuously talk about you ain't African, you ain't no, you ain't from Africa, it's kind of silly because it doesn't benefit you in any way. If anyone could tell me what's the benefit of denying African lineage, I'm all ears. Because whether or not you deny, if you deny it, you get nothing. If you accept it or embrace it, then you can go to Africa and advocate for your for you to get specific uh uh, uh, priority in different things. So if someone's like, "Yo, you're my cousin," and they have, a, and they're a millionaire, you're not going to deny your relation to them. You're not going to be like, "I ain't their cousin. I ain't their cousin. I don't know that fool." Even if you're not their cousin, you're going to be like, "Dude, if you want to be my my cousin, let's be cousins, bro, because you benefit from that." Same thing with Africa. You brothers are so caught up on this idea of like, I need people to acknowledge me. Why do you need acknowledgement from anyone? Then it seems like you're looking for validation. See me, when I say I'm African, I don't need validation from anybody. Because when I'm in Africa, my spirit identifies with the African spirit, right? You even got white folks who go to Africa like, I'm an African, I feel like I'm one with these people, whatever. Their spirit, they feel, identifies with the spirit of the people there. So all I'm saying is, all this trying to disprove and disconnect and make a distinction, just make sure that you're actually going to gain something from that. Instead of advocating for something that once you prove it, it's not going to move the meter for you either way. Tyrone wants to teach Black, Black American indigenous language. There's nothing wrong with learning indigenous language. But it might be a little more be beneficial to learn Mandarin Chinese when it comes to economic growth and uh, collective benefit, right? Because this is what everyone's learning. Mandarin Chinese is the number one language being learned in the world in all countries, right? So all I say is let's make sure when we're doing what we're doing, we are doing that so that we can then make a practical application to our advancement and growth not just doing it for the sake of being a contrarian or proving a, co a connection to something that is basically ineffective. Native Americans are the weakest demographic in America. They lost an open war to Europeans and signed contracts agreeing to go and live on reservations. Whether you believe that or not, that is the rule in the law in the land that's where you dwell. We all know that no one is going to give their inheritance to someone else, right? Remember in the Bible when they talked about Esau and Jacob and they talked about how Esau traded his inheritance to Jacob for a cup of red soup, right? Everyone looked at Esau and said, this guy doesn't even didn't even value his inheritance because he gave it away for nothing. When you look at this white man that you think you're about to go and negotiate with to get something, understand that his people fought and died to gain this land, we call, gain ownership of this land we call North America. If you do not have an army, if you, know, you are not prepared to fight and die, do not ever delude yourself to think that you're going to gain something from him that will put him and his people out of strategic disadvantage. This is why reparations ain't never going to happen. And this is why no matter how many court battles you fight, you are never going to get this white man to relinquish anything through treaties or contracts. And that's and so make sure instead of dividing us up, try to find the differences, 
Why don't we all try to put our differences aside and find common ground the way we are forced to do with the white man while we're living in North America? Because Alquan, you even said yourself, you still got to be cordial with them. Of course, you still got to work with them and stuff like that. You said that last night, right? So you got to set your differences to the side for at least eight hours a day. Why can't we do that with each other? Why can't we do that with Africans so that we can benefit? We can all benefit. Brothers are going to Africa right now doing major projects that are facilitated by Africans. Why sit up and pigeonhole yourself, put yourself in a box where you can't even move around because you want to prove that you're different from someone else when ultimately you have no power or no ability to actually expand your interest. So I just say, just make it make sense. If it don't make if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. And all this stuff y'all be talking about, it I don't know. To so some people, it might sound good, but ultimately, it ain't making no sense. It's like Tariq Nasheed's museum. It might look nice, but ultimately, what's the result of it? Nothing. Some people are arguing to remain inside the the, the boundaries of their limitation, which is exactly what I feel y'all doing. And I rest the mic at that. All right, you done? All right, so that was a good that okay. Was he's, load of bullshit right there. Yeah, yeah, he was under two minutes. <laughs> uh, can, can, can I point out a few things he just said because I had to write these down real quick. Now, the last line he said, it, "If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense," which is, of course, what is going on with paying Africans when they have a relationship with Africa. It's all about the money. It ain't about helping the people. Then he said, uh, "If you're African." Then if you claim to be African, then you can get certain things that he failed to mention, of course. And I don't know what the hell you can get out of Africa besides a pat on the a head, because uh, they don't have anything. Then he said, what is the benefit of denying African heritage? And I can answer that. It's it, The benefit is knowing who you are and knowing about reality. It's not about denying anything. It's about not admitting to something that cannot be proven. If it can if be proven, you know, if you know who you are, why is someone else to recognize that? No, no, it, it's not about who's recognizing it. We're telling you who look, we are. Look, I don't see any Indians or Asians coming into these chat rooms trying to prove who they are to black folks. Oh, that's they them. That's 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 them. We don't we don't we don't deal with them. Now, why is one of your peers' if logic you know and common Indians, sense? Why is project when Africa is pimping their hardcore? Hardcore. Are you Indian? Hey, that's that's the history, yeah. Okay, Tyrone, are you Indian? Absolutely. Okay, y'all brothers can be Indians. I acknowledge y'all as Indian. What next? But if you're a Black American, so are you, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Look, you can be what you want to hey, be. Hey, 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 bring what I want to be. Mune, 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 did you actually? Mune, Mune, wait, 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 Mune, 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 is Mune on your team? Now, Brandon, you just had nine minutes. Now, 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 answer some questions now. No, listen, I respect you, brother's lineage. Wait, 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 wait. I'll let you have your little bit of I'll give it to you. I'll let you have your little five cents. Now, you got to answer some questions. You got to answer. All right. My first question, because I got 10 points that I want to give you. My first question is, can you find a Munene or whatever your last name is? Have you found anybody that traces you back to Africa on your paper genealogy? I didn't say DNA, kid. That I name, said that paper, name, genealogy, stop. your family's that name, surnames. Wait, wait, that wait. Name was What's given your family's to me. surname and where does listen, it go Tyrone, back? Does it go listen, back to Tyrone. Africa or does it go back to Tyrone. one of these states listen, in the United Tyrone. States? Tyrone, listen. That name was given to me by men who are part of the Kikuyu tribe. My lineage does and where not is, go where, back to, Wait, wait, wait. Where's um, that Kukuyu tribe let me finish, in Africa? Brother. Is that let in West finish. Africa? On your let DNA me explain the name East to you. East Africa? And let you just me explain the name to you. And somebody patronized you and said, the hey, man, come over here and buy some of my stuff. Listen, can, you, can I explain the name? It was given to me by members of the Kikuyu tribe. And my Where is that in Africa? My lineage does not trace back to East Africa. But when you go to Africa and you work with people, they give you a name. 
when people connect. So you appropriated something just because they gave you a name? Well, they gave it to me. They gave me the name. That's still cultural appropriation. How? Most they of them don't accept me. you as one of okay. them. I mean, who are these people? Are they like the Nation of Islam or something like that? They give you a, the no, name X or something? It's a troll. <laughs> like that it's actually the biggest time in stuff? Is it something okay. like that? So when, I, so when I went to South Africa, the Zulus also gave me a name because I okay, did a lot of work with them. But does that make you a part of their ethnic group? Those people accepted me into their tribe. They wanted me to be a part of their tribe. A part of their tribe. They want everybody to be a part of their tribe. They That's true. They want you to be a part of their tribe. Well, they yeah. wanted me. They, 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 they didn't. I don't I, I, they how, how much did you have to pay? <laughs> I didn't pay anything. <laughs> you had to make the a donation point. to the chief? Let me tell you something. The funny thing is, when I do business, I do business mostly with a tribe called the Giriyama tribe, which is on the coast of Kenya. The Kikuyus are on the interior of Kenya, and I have a lot of friends who are Kikuyu. We don't really do a bunch of business together. So uh, now, are those, friends, friends, are those friends prostitutes like um, Logic and Common Sense is doing? Mm. I don't know any prostitutes. Because um, the brother on YouTube, that um, he's a whole Pan-African, and he describes black people should move there to Africa like they do to Brazil to pimp their women out. Oh, you talking about the one brother? Uh, you talking about Rami Peso? I think so. I think that's his name. Hey, if the brother want to go to Africa to become a pimp, that's on him. That's not my MO. I'm married. Hey, Brandon, we got a uh, question from the uh, audience. But back to my question. Uh, um, have uh, you genealogically <laughs> did it trace your family to Africa or did it go back to a country over here in the United States? Well, and we just said say that you are owing well, some restitution from some of these people over here. Well, my How is the DNA kid going to help you get some restitution? Are you asking the question? Uh, my genealogy goes back to 1809 in America. On what side of the family? What's your my, on my fa on my father's side, the uh, Tucker Banks side goes back to 1809. Okay, prior to that, what was it? Uh, slavery or mystery or what? It, 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 we just hit a wall right there. Right, and We're so nobody no, no, nobody could trace anything back to Africa. Well, the well, the reason why a lot of us hit a wall at, in the 1800s, which that's very common, except for your man Kayla Genesis, Actually, who says he can go back to the 1600s in the Congo. Where you can get well, maybe he can, but you I'm telling you about digging. my family. So the thing is, in the 1800s, a lot of people hit a wall at the year 1800. One because there was a big fire which destroyed a lot of records. A fire records. from where? Because um, the Mormons collected everybody's uh, genealogy, and also you can find sources where you can dig up your paperwork. So, so why you really, is this okay. DNA stuff incurred listen, listen. instead of you All going this stuff is and um, Look, finding your own... Wait, 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 one second. Why is it encouraged for you to take some foreigner's DNA kit instead of you forming your own science and uh, genomic science institute where you go around digging up buried Negro slaves in Indian burial grounds or places like old slave graveyards? Why aren't you using those samples? Why, why does somebody have to go all the way to Africa to try and um, shoehorn in uh, African, out of Africa, back to African theory onto black Well, Tyrone, Americans. Tyrone, you have DNA the thing. samples that doesn't Tyrone, listen, connect you to listen, Africa. Listen, Tyrone, listen, you want to do that, so why don't you start the company that does that? If you start you know, that I'm company, asking you, Pan African, wait a minute, brother. we're talking about minute. genealogy, wait a minute, and brother, uh, you, you want to force a whole African, African narrative that we all from Africa, it doesn't make question. any sense that we shouldn't claim I, Africa. Now, you have to do, you have to prove that. Hardcore. Just like we have to Listen. prove our Indianness. I'm hardcore. not saying that everybody on this panel is Indian. Hardcore. I'm just saying that you got to do your genealogy, just like Dan Calloway. Okay, let him answer, let him answer. Tyrone. You want to do the I mean, but with Tyrone, Tyrone, in the future, though, let let him answer because his answer I I can say with uh 
a hundred percent certainty his own his own answers will hang himself. So let him answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me hang myself. Silent. Get him out. Tyrone, you listen. If you start the company that goes and does the genealogical research, I will be more than happy to not only donate you money to start it, but I will be the first person to sign up to let you research my genealogy. The only issue here is this. There's a person, I think his name is Dr. Rick Littles. He- You mean Rick Kittles? Kittles, whatever. But the because point he's is- he's already been disproven. I'm not done. Even my, let me finish uh, my wait, wait, wait. statement. I, 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 let, let, him, let him finish, let him finish. Okay, then, then you go out there. Rick Kittles believed in something and made a company that perpetuates what he believed. You believe in something. So you go do what Kittles did and go make a company to prove what you believe. And I would be happy to submit you whatever you need to go back and trace my lineage. Until that point, all you are is a guy criticizing somebody who was willing to do something that you're unwilling to do. Now, before no, Tyron no, answer, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 real quick, before you answer, number one, Kittles said that his company was entertainment and can't be verified, uh, the, the DNA stuff. Two, uh, Leonard Yehuda says, how come you haven't gone back to Africa yet? Not only that, not only that. Well, Autumn, let me answer that first, and then you ask yours. <laughs> I've been back. I've been back. No, 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 not, not, not the visit. Permanently. Well, I, well I'm making my transition to Africa. Trans is like a train. It's like a train. You make a transition. I mean, how long is that to take, man? Well, well, here's the thing. If you're going to move somewhere permanently, you have to establish an economic uh, base there so that you can provide for yourself. Like I told you last night, I have a family. If it was just me, I could just leave. Well, hold on. Aren't you the same guy who just said that his house house is worth a million dollars? Yes. Okay, so what, what you mean? Well, the money ain't the problem. No, no, no. This Okay, <laughs> okay wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> babe, babe. Come here, babe. Come here. Babe. I can't hear you got that TV playing. Downloading. I, I could okay. I could she she'll like Diana Ross. <laughs> Say it again. Say it again. We're moving. You okay. moving moving Africa? No, we're moving Africa. So we can start renting the house out. So oh. then we can make it listen, you're not listening. See, when I say I'm going to do something, I'm really going to do it. Except for going to so, Africa, though, right? <laughs> what'd you say? I said except for moving to Africa, right? And no, not just this, only Africa, the part that this, you claim on your DNA. This is why you, okay, you, got, you claim you just You guys from. ask a question, but you won't let me answer it. <laughs> now, we're moving out of the house so we can uh, remodel the house so we can rent the house out. And that creates an income that we could use in Africa. So I, think, <laughs> I don't see what's funny about that. I don't believe it. That's why. Well, I'll let you go. <laughs> Did you just hear my wife tell you we move it? Yeah, okay, but what her. part is it? The um respectable part where you your DNA? No, no, he, he, he didn't say he was moving to Africa. They moving to someplace else in, in California and renting the house out. That's what he said. Oh, okay, okay. What we're what we're doing? What we're doing is we're moving to our condo downtown. So we can remodel this house and rent it out. Now, the only thing where we're having a little bit of a dilemma here is we have a daughter and our daughter is very interested in volleyball. She plays club volleyball and she's still in school. She's in seventh grade. So we're trying to, we tried to see if they had volleyball programs and all that in Africa. We're not finding oh. much, wait a minute. We're not finding much along the line <laughs> of volleyball in Africa. So now we're uh. trying to we're trying to decide if because I had said initially I was gonna leave when my daughter graduated, but we're trying to see we're mm. trying to see if we can somehow find the equivalent when it comes to volleyball for my daughter so that we could then make that transition and she could still still pursue her goals, right? See, when you have a family mm. You can't just do something that, oh, I just want to do this, so I'm going to do it. You have to consider the people who are in that family. Also, my wife has several businesses in the United States, right here locally. So she's 
uh, trying to build up her uh, clientele base for these businesses All because right. she has people who work for her who depend on. All right, so I, I get what you're saying. So, so basically, so you're, saying, words, you're saying you're not going to Africa. Africa. Yeah, yeah, he's thinking just what so, I'm thinking. So, <laughs> yo, so basically, no, no. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm on your show, right? And on my show, I don't really go into this. And so what I'm doing, I'm being very transparent with you on your show so that when I do move mm. to Africa, you can see how it's done. Because here's the thing, Hardcore. Everything you guys, people like you said I wouldn't do, I did it. See, I've been being told that I wasn't going to do something. My yeah, whole but whole not in West world. Africa. Listen, listen. See, but for you, it's always going to be moving the goalposts. If I move to East Africa, well, why are you not? Well, me, I, I don't really care what part of Africa you live in as long as you go there. No, no, I'm, no, I'm, I'm going to go. I'm about to go to West the Africa. The DNA kid part of my lineage, West Africa. Wait, my lineage, my lineage, which Tyrone doesn't know, traced back to Gimme Basah. So did mm. Dinah on Search for Uhuru. So we're going to both go to Gimme Basah and start working on stuff there because they're starting <laughs> Because they're starting to give out the lead, the uh, citizenship just like Sierra Leone, right? Oh. So there's a plan, there's a plan it's in here. place being worked out. Now, if I gave you my plan, now do me a favor, brother. I didn't told you all my business. Tell me what you're planning to do. You and Tyrone tell me what y'all plans are. But say uh, before you do before we I'm gonna let them answer. I just wanna say this real quick. Now you know if you, you got all these businesses and, and relationships in this country, uh, I think it's pretty clear that you are not going uh to Africa anytime soon and, and renting a house out to get it remodeled. Obviously, that's a business venture and you're not gonna make that kind of money okay. like you were making in Africa. Okay. Hold up, but hold on, hold on. Hold on. But, uh, but hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Now, now uh, obviously, that's too much obligation, too much uh, riches that you can't get in Africa. And I, I, I we got to stop fooling each other, sir. We, we all know you're, you're not going to Africa. Nobody wants that culture shock. I got a question for him too. All right, go um, ahead. When do you believe that? But, hold on, oh, somebody got some feedback. Is that you, uh, truthful troll? Let me see. Let me pull these out and see if that's me. All right. Up. No, that's yeah, cool. we are that's cool. here. All right, cool. Um, is it safe to say that being a Pan African, you believe that pretty much all blacks in America come from Africa, or our lineage goes back to Africa? Um, I believe that uh, the lineage of black people in America, their lineage goes back to Africa. Okay, my next question will be, what is your source for that? My source for that is just DNA. Ah, uh, boy. Is DNA a reliable source? The, there's the thing. If you want to be Indian, you can be. Why? I don't care what you claim. No, I'm, I'm That's asking you. about DNA. We're not talking okay, about listen. Indian. Listen, brother. If you say you're Indian, I acknowledge that you're Indian. Why is it an argument beyond that? <laughs> This is we going I'm, back. I'm, I'm not talking about. We going back I'm back to that DNA. DNA Did you know Rick Kittles? Did you know Rick Kittles? His own mentor for the well, African uh, burial ground project. Uh, somebody, some, somebody got feedback. Hard code. If oh, I was trying to argue that, that you guys are uh, not Indians, I could understand these questions. But if you guys want to believe you're Indians, well, it's not about believing. We can prove it. That's the whole okay. thing. You got look. As oh, far as oh, oh, and, and it's not just us; it's you too. He's on his heart, Brandon. Because how is it based in belief if it's true? Okay, you guys want to believe you brought up Rick Kittle, one of your sources, right? Okay, listen, hardcore, 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 hardcore. Did you say I'm an Indian? I said if you're a Black American, yes, you are. Okay, I'm an Indian. I'm an Indian. Okay. I didn't say you're an Indian. I said no, you're I'm an Indian. Indian. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, let, 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 let's turn around and ask this question. Now, did you know that your boy Rick Kittles, his own mentor from the African burial ground project in New York, who were trying to force feed an African narrative on Negro bones that were found in an Indian mound, did you know that he made his shit up and his mentor was Michael Bleakey? 
He admitted to the public in the early 2000s that oh, Brandon has the feedback. Huh? That's not me. Oh shit, my fault. Al, could you hear me? Yo. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Hey, boss man, okay, so boss yeah, man, yeah, I got a question for you. Yeah, it's not about. Oh, wait for Tyron to uh, finish up first. Right. Then you next. Right. Rick Kittles went on an early article in the early 2000s. He admitted that Rick Kittles made up half most of his shit. Tyron, Even Henry I don't was care about Rick Kittles. Stage and admitted that they made up Bro, why, most of their shit. Tyron, why are you trying to discredit Rick Kittles? I don't know Rick Kittles. I don't give a damn. You just Rick used him as a <laughs> Yeah, you just, you just said that Rick DNA Rick was your sauce. Okay, right? let me. Hard code. Wait a minute. Let's look. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Brandon, <laughs> wait. Wait, <laughs> wait a minute. Hey, Brandon, you better hope DJ Rell pops up soon, man. No, <laughs> yo, yo, I'll let you get all your shit. I all, right, all right, let Brandon answer, and then uh, Ray Ray is next. Because these guys clearly don't comprehend well. What I heard, I heard what, what you said too. What what I said, yeah, yeah, exactly what you said. This is what I said, brothers, with intelligence and brains the y'all skull. I said Rick Kittles believes in what he believes, so he created a company that researches DNA. I said if you believe what you believe. All you have to do is create a company that researches GSP. And then you said that but you believe that Americans right. are African by right. DNA, right? Right. But prior to that, you did say that you are, or you believe that you're African through the DNA. That's what you said. But Rick Kittles is not the only person researching. No, but you said you said the DNA, then you brought him up. Listen, brother. Okay. Rick Kittles is well, not the only person researching DNA. I, uh, we, 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 we got you. Let, uh, we got Yo, ready. He want. He want to talk. I, I got. I got a question for you. Right? Poses uh, another. What uh, you said poses uh, another question. Hold on, Ray. Ray, Ray black uh, man... hold, hold that hold for on, one hold, second. Hold, hold, hold. hold it. Ray, Ray, Ray's been waiting for a while though. <laughs> hey, hey, Al Quan. I, I want to say uh, peace, Al Quan. What's up? And I want to say um, when when it comes to this Caribbean and this African, uh, uh, uh. Atmosphere, you definitely got the ball rolling on that, man. Them people stole a lot of your uh thank you. I like to call it juice, right? <laughs> now, my question to this man, my question to this man right here is uh what states in America are so-called Africans from the continent of Africa oppressed in? Don't know. Uh-oh. Because you're playing games. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, look, listen, 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 listen. I got one more. Listen, I got one more for you. If Africans are so oppressed in America, why are they bringing their fa- they favorite snacks and foods on them shipping containers? Number two, okay, you're playing brother. games. Okay, brother. Wait, you're trying, but I never said anything about. I, I would. No, 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 no. You, you pushing pan African. Listen, listen, you're brother, pushing listen, pan. Listen, you're pushing pan listen, Africanism, listen, but yet they're not bro, oppressed in America. Bro, you gotta let me answer the question. Oh, that's Tyron with the echo. Okay, Tyron. Oh, no, 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 it's not. No, it's not. The point is, I never said anything about anybody being oppressed in America. You guys are bringing all these. Why you, you bro? What are you accomplish? Listen, listen, listen. You going to Africa, right? How does that help the so-called Negro what economic? What I'm doing? What are you gonna? It do? doesn't help Black America. Well, I'll tell you why, Brandon, because you're the pan African. That's why. Exactly. Damn. Brother, Roland Martin Jr. <laughs> because recently, a couple months back, we had Juneteenth. Wait, wait, Brandon. Oh, hold on, Tyron, real quick. It's because you're the pan Africanist, and we're. Right, but you're the one supposed to be trying to unite everybody. Listen, brother, how does what I'm doing have any impact on y'all? Because you're supposed to be the pan Africanist, and you're not trying to help your people. So, so wait a minute. So, look. So, so you, your wife, and your kids make up a nation? Me and my wife. You playing games. You playing games, bro. You playing games, bro. That's not a nation, bro. Bro, you sat up and brought up snacks. You pushing pan. You're pushing pan Africanism on the American Negro, bro. Why you on the channel? And not only that, he also he also saying that we should go to Africa but speak Asian. You said that earlier. You said we should go to Africa but learn Asian. Hardcore. Mandarin. You keep I'm, I'm about to, hold on, let me ask you this question. Uh you and Kayla Genesis Genesis and Dynast always 
try to plead with us and say Africa is the only solution. We need to get to Africa. I've never told you to go to Africa, hard. No, no, I said, I, I just said you, you plead with us. You say Africa is the solution. We don't plead with anybody. Yes, you do. Watch us. The people who watch us already have a mindset where they want to go to Africa. But they're not getting there, though. Because on the other show, when Alquan was trying to talk to you and that white boy came on, he was like, oh, y'all keeping us from getting to the figurative banana of getting to Africa because that's the only salvation, right? Yep. Uh, hey, boss, hey, boss. Hey, boss, hey, boss, listen, right? Are we talking or are we joking? Hey, man, I got, I got, if it's funny, I got you get a laugh. I got another question. I got one more question for you, boss. This is, this is what it seems like. It seems like there's a bunch of grown men on here who are upset because I'm doing what I want to do as a grown man. But well, what I'm doing... Hold on, wait, 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 the group go do exactly it. how is that benefiting Nobody your people in black America, which you're coming to us with this shit saying we all gotta pack our bags to run the Africa. I never said that Africans when the Africans say it us. When have I said every black Bro, American is Negro out. has selected? Well, our, our, our discussion last night, uh I, we were talking about LGBTQ, and then you started talking about I'm trying to prevent people from going to Africa, and you said we need to go to Africa. That's what you you guys Harko, always say that. Harco, I just did a nine minute uh, little monologue on here, and I did not even say everybody needs to go to Africa. But you said oh, it in a roundabout way, though. I never said that, bro. Really? You do, you do. I said. When you're man, in you're here, or you even talk shit about people's grandparents, you still accuse them of self-hating. So you believe the so-called, so, my man, so, so you believe the so-called Native Americans are the, the indigenous people of this land, basically? I don't believe anything. Yeah, Ray, Ray, your uh, phone breaking up a little bit. Nah, that's y'all connection. I'm good. And Brandon, now did you and Kayla Genesis last night I thought I got kicked off, did you not say that, oh, we need to uh, go to Africa, Africa is the only solution? He said it, I specifically. As a pan-African people, not you guys. You guys <laughs> no, what is a pan-African pan person? People are black people in America as a whole, including the Caribbean, Bro, the Afro-Latinoism, pan that's pan-Africanism. We gotta unite all, all black people. What is a black person? What is a black person? person right? Every black person in the world what is a black person. Africa. What's a black person? Describe a black person to me. Matter of fact, since Africa is the goal, how come Marcus Garvey never went to Africa? He never went to step one person. Maybe down. he didn't want to go. In Oh, you playing games, bro. I'm not playing games. You got, nah, nah, nah. You got, you got selective hammering. That's what you got. Hey, brother, listen. I never said every black person needs to go to Africa. I've never. What is a black person? No, 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 no. It's Marcus Garvey. Your savior, your God. Well, your you try to put me. He said, "Go to what you try to do." But he never went. My accountability for Marcus Garvey. Oh, now you disavow Marcus Garvey now? I'm not disavowing him. Do you, you look like Marcus, Marcus Garvey? You would assume. W.E.B. Du Bois? What is wrong man. with the Negro, man? I don't know what's wrong with the Negro, man. Yeah, I know what it is. Did Marcus Garvey not say, did Marcus Garvey not say he had no desire to take all black people to Africa? Yeah, yeah, but but but, 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 but did he did he but did he also say that he had a desire to take the right kind of black people to Africa? Well, those right, well those, <laughs> listen, those right kind of black people would be pan Africans who want to go to Africa. I don't, I don't remember him saying it, but not all. Actually, listen, 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 not even all pan Africans want to go to Africa. Look at Dr. Umar. He's Hold on, wait, 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 wait. But ain't white supremacy pan African too? Ain't Caucasian African? No Tyrone's bouncing all over the place. Listen, man. You motherfuckers are confused. Yo, you, you, you never go back. had a call in London. When you go back to Africa, you bring the motherfuckers with you. Excuse my language, I want. I 
don't see come in. Boss man, listen, my man, look. We gonna listen. We gonna gather up some money, and we gonna send you a one way ticket straight down that mountain. Okay. Don't come back. Now, 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 he'll give you a refund real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all taking up no no man. Down the block. Listen, listen. Last year, I spent four months in Africa, three months in Africa. This year, Do I'm on money, bro. Listen, Yo, how much six. money? I- can I, how much did it, Can how I get much my did statement out? Can I get my statement out? You oh, guys got a Listen, last year I spent three months in Africa. This year I'm on pace to spend four months in Africa. And I want to progressively spend... And I guarantee you, none of they females wanted to deal with you. Not because of your look, just because they know you're not they people. That's What's wrong true. with you? That's Come on, bro. True. If it's not true, why are you Wait, a one nigga? Okay, can I ask you another question? That's so you said that's not true. Brother, so you have you ever, brother, <laughs> I want to ask a brother who just talked about that's the right, right? Brother, yeah, what's up? Have you ever been to Africa? Why when there's a million of them next door to me? <laughs> that's not what I asked you. Have you ever been to Africa? No, I haven't. So how would you know whether the females want to deal with you or not? Because you we came back over, over here. here. What do you mean? You came home, nigga. I have a wife. So why are you going to Africa? I can go because I have businesses in Africa. See, businesses, but they're not good enough to stay permanently because you don't want to eat so, that so cuisine. Wait, 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 wait a minute, Alquan. So, so, so basically, you in Africa capitalizing off of Africans? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Oh. Okay, got you. There we go. Bang. Okay. <laughs> you got oh, many wow. Africans over wait, here wait, capitalizing wait, on our You cold. finished. question. Let me ask you a question, Harcole. You finished. Uh, okay. Are Africans in America capitalizing off of African Americans? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they're okay. capitalizing off Africans. Okay. So why can't we capitalize off each other? Yeah, but you're supposed to be there to help. Every time we ask you what you're doing, you, you said you're over there helping. That's what you don't understand. I'm a pan African, not a volunteer worker. A pan now cap- is that pan pan capitalist. going back into the black American community. Pan capitalist. Now, listen, hey, hey, now, hey, 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 listen, listen. When are you going to start capitalizing off of the so-called Caucasian? You're playing babe, games. You take it babe, too long. Babe. Babe. <laughs> Stink. Babe. Boo. No, You're playing games, wife. bro. You're thinking. I was going to bring my wife because I was going to ask her. Come, why are you bringing no, females you, you, and you, men you, conversation, bro? You, what's wrong you, with y'all? Listen, yeah, man, I was like, what's up with that? Here. Why you need a woman in the solution, bro? You can't now, RP the, the Honorable Dr. Khalid Muhammad, man. Something's wrong with y'all, bro. <laughs> Khalid Muhammad is dead. So bring him up to this point. Damn. Okay. Because uh, Garvey's been dead for about 100 years, man. I mean, you keep but bringing him up. Y'all still pushing this whole movement, man. I'm not bringing up Marcus Garvey. You, you talking about pan African? Yeah, when you yeah, when you're a pan Africanist, you represent Garvey. Yeah, you exactly. represent Martha Garvey with that shit, man. We have business in America. In in two of our businesses, the primary clientele is white folks. Yo, hey Mike, listen, listen. Are you trying to get Hispanics to go back to Africa? Because supposedly <laughs> Cause they, they had right. something to do with the transatlantic <laughs> slave trade, right? Wasn't they involved in it too? I don't know anything about that. Africans went to Latin America and the Caribbean. They didn't come to America like that. That's exactly. So are That's you like trying to get my I told you in the shit last is crazy. time when I went on what your show, only 92,000 Africans got brought allegedly these into the United these States, what? right? Alquan. These are the dummies you hang with on a daily basis. Come on, see, no, no, no personal on, insults. On, I, I, I like the facts only. And and again, last, last night. But see, but check it out. But last night I was uh 100% respectful to you, and I still got dissed by the end of the uh, uh my appearance. And, and, that, and that's not let me, tell you, Alcorn, let me ask you something when you come to my channel, even though I may degrade you, I don't ask a bunch of frivolous questions. Yeah, you well, do. Well, well, the jokes are part of the uh, uh trying to discredit what I'm saying. That's what that's all about. I don't do like my man, my man, my man, my man. Are you trying to get are you preaching to so-called Latinos to join this pan-African movement and to go back to Africa? Yes or no? No. Why not? 
They African too. <laughs> yeah, right. See, look, y'all, 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 I cannot stand you, motherfucker. Yo, I'm telling you. Oh, excuse my language. <laughs> so you want me to give you my address so you can come fight me? Yeah, but nah, is wrong with y'all, bro. I got a question. So, 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 no, no bro. I didn't catch it only one way to go. Damn, violence now? We just... <laughs> hey, they, they, they said they turn to violence when they don't know what to do. <laughs> you, say, I don't you are a black American. Why would you want to beat up on a fellow black American? All right, all right. All right, hold on. Uh, uh, Truth for Troll wants to say something. Alquan, let's yep. get a, a mutual de- de- uh, location. Uh, uh, let's get a... a, a um, Location right now. Me and this brother go to a boxing gym in his town. If he can't stand Pan Austinus, let's meet there. I'll fly there and we can go. Wow, bro. Yo, what you what? what Six, hey, 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 look, what you what? 16 or 17? You got too much of this. You got too much of this vitriol. Now, 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 Ray Ray, now Brandon said he, he had a fight with three Mexicans and knocked them all out. Listen, <laughs> same time. So maybe he wants the opportunity to take a shot at a Pan African. I'll give it to you. There's no hate in my heart, there's no anger towards you. I, my, is you I hate your grandma. Do so you called your grandma a self hater and hey, um, a shame. My grandma is a self hater. Damn. That's, but that's now, from that's, your own mouth. You said that you a rape baby and you ashamed of being African because your grandma didn't I'm have ashamed an African of being African. culture to you. I'm ashamed of being African. African. That's your African. own words, not mine. Your own words. Well, I said I'm ashamed of being African. Yeah, you said your grandma. Hey, my man, listen. listen and, and, and teach you no in my in my Alquan voice, what is an African? <laughs> Bro, listen. <laughs> Bro, if listen. You're not an African. Wait, 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 wait. Answer his question. What is an African? By definition, it's not a white you. man's dictionary. Listen, they can't answer that one, man. They can't answer that one. <laughs> <laughs> but not terrible, terrible, man. You're not an African. If if all life started in Africa, this is what y'all push. Why don't like the brother just asked you earlier, why don't y'all consider all like like why y'all don't feel like all people should be pan African like why is it just directed toward us why not right, right. why not all come from there right why not the Germans and the Russians all like and, 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 and you and you and you never and you never you never you never explained you, you uh, hold up one more thing you never explained why you said that we should go to Africa but study Asian languages this is what you said and, and, <laughs> Uh, let, let, but hold on, let, him, let him answer that one first. Why should we study Asian languages in Africa? What, okay. Ancient I Chinese know, secret. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I know crack get real hard in the 80s, so let me say this one more time. Bro, you tweaking, man. Right, now, let him go. He's, he's by himself, so you got to, you know, well, let, let him go. I said. Learning Mandarin Chinese is more beneficial than learning a, a, a Native American language. That's what I said. You also said you they study said it all over the, the world, world, even in Africa. Listen, let me finish my answer. So I said, if the brother said he was going to empower people by teaching them a language, Native American language, I would. I said it would be more empowering if he wanted to truly empower his people. By teaching them a language. Why is that? African, right? Why is that? Let, 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 let me let me let me ask you. Let, 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 let me but let me let me let me get my quick time on. I got. I, 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 I can't even get. The, I can't even ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said. Oh, I heard ahead. what you said. You said it'll be more empowering for us to learn Mandarin. Why is that? I was just, I was just because you guys finishing up, backing up what you were saying. Yeah. Why is that? Listen, listen. You guys. Bro, you African. poison, bro. Uh, let him go. Let him go. Listen, you guys said you're not African. So yeah. what I said was, if he wants to empower his people by teaching them a language, it will be more conducive to progress and empowerment for him to teach them Mandarin Chinese. Yes, bro. A, mo- a mongoloid. Uh oh. Want me to speak alien? All right, we got we got somebody <laughs> else uh, popping up here. 
I, I'm not familiar with this person. Maybe this is uh, somebody I might help Brandon out. Let's see what but, he can do. That's his partner. That's his partner. Yo, I'm a, I'm a native, bro. I'm a native, man. I'm African. African. Okay, now, hold up, hold up. I'm a native, bro. I'm a native, man. Yeah, Hawk, you're, you got feedback. I think you need some headphones or something. Bro, your feed, your feedback is strong. I might have to get off. Yeah, your feedback is very strong. Yeah, Hawk, you're, you got feedback. I think Can you hear me now? Yeah, hit the feedback. You got to stop the playback. I'm mad to get my stuff straight, man. I think he said, echo, bro. take the uh, pause of YouTube. All right. Yeah, hit the feedback. Okay, hold on. I'm mad to get my stuff straight. There you uh, go. I think, yeah, I think you got that. Now, before you go, uh, let me just say this because Vanessa says she want to hear uh, Brandon rant about my, my being faceless again. She said it was funny. You see my face. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but faces, it's guys, about the content. Now, my man Hawk had his thing right now. He, now it says device yeah, is not connected. Hey, 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 boss, I, I don't know your name. Put yeah, and hopefully you can face these questions that we got for you. <laughs> my, my man, my man, my man, right? What's your thoughts on them um, doing all that self-infliction on their face and all that cutting and shit over there? That's their culture. So is it cool for us, the Negro, to amalgamate in that type of behavior? We don't practice that culture. Who is we? The Negro you playing America. games? Nah, nah, the nah. You, it's over. <laughs> you. The Negro in America doesn't practice that culture. There are tribes in So you want us to amalgamate with people that self-inflict? You just asked me a question. There are tribes in Africa that self-inflict, uh, mar put marks on their face, and then there are there are tribes that do not. But so let me ask you a question. Let, let me ask you a question. Is that sanitary for a human? Another question. Huh. Yeah, well, I, if you were brother, a I, I you tell them, uh, I'm gonna so kick you, then you gotta come back in. They ask the question, you gotta let me ask you the question. Why do you marry that? Everybody listens to it. All right, before you do that, uh, uh, Hawk Solo says your uh, mic, I guess you did something to uh, disconnect your mic or something. Well, listen, brother, why are you asking me about what those people? And that tribe choose to do because you're trying to amalgamate these people with another people that's totally no, different. I'm no, I'm yeah, not. it is. I am simply trying to tell people that that to we wear costume opportunity. Wait, 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 wait. What people? What people are you talking to first? What kind of? You talking about what kind of the people who identify as Pan African? Yeah. So can a Mexican hey, identify as a Pan African? No, he cannot. Why not? Because he's not African. Oh, you they're, not, they're not. Nope. Got him. See, we got him out. Uh, we got him out. It's over. They're, they're not. Uh, they said Napoleon bought uh, Sudanese slaves to uh, Mexico. I don't care what they say. Oh, oh. oh. no kidding now. You called, us, uh, you called us Negroes Hispanic. a few seconds ago. I got Hispanic. a question. Was was that Hispanic. term Negro? Was that first applied to Indians or African? Brother, why are you just talking when we answer the question? Either way, you gonna lie about it. I was asking. I'm not lying about nothing. You called us Negroes. I asked you, was a Negro first applied to an African? Or African? Brother, he said Negro, so I said Negro. Well, all right, now, now here's here's a question: then. How come Caribbeans were never considered Negroes? Can I ask? You, let me let me ask you a question. Go what ahead. What are you going to do with all this useless information you regurgitated? Say again. What are you gonna? How are you gonna use this information that you got to produce something? I heard you say well, useless, and then here, you switched it up. Land, you know, well, it's really useless. You don't do nothing with it. Well, hold on, wait, 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 wait. How's the DNA kit go help you out there getting restitution? R.P. the Honorable Dr. Oh, so Khalid Muhammad. I'm not looking for restitution. Tyrone. You're not looking for any type of reparation. <laughs> I don't give a damn about reparations. Oh, you heard it, folks. He don't care about no reparations. No, you, 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 your partner, your partner, got to get his stuff together because you're gonna need some help, man. 
Look, Roland bro. Martin Jr. I'm telling Yo. you. <laughs> Yo, more name. But you better, you really, you really better pray that D. Durrell's strong because that's the man that's gonna save you. <laughs> listen, listen, hardcore. Even though he Nobody can't handle it, but then again, he's not gonna show because he said he's gonna produce the evidence this time. <laughs> <laughs> Any day, I guarantee you, I've done more for black Americans in America than any of you combined. All right, give us give us a few uh, examples. Give us a few examples. <laughs> give us a few examples of what you've done. Okay, I have an organization. Can Tyrone stop interrupting me, brother? <laughs> <laughs> I, I want I, I, okay. I want I want to hear this. I want to hear this. Tyrone ain't said nothing useful the whole time he's been on here. No, no, uh, no, no, no. Don't, don't, don't engage with arguments. Let, 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 so you give him time to think now. Let, let, let him yeah, is that eight top two top four back? Listen, bro. Here's the thing in America, I have an organization called Like Mind. Like Mind has several programs right now in America, in California where we do everything from helping people, black businesses. Arts and crafts? No, no, let me go. <laughs> All right, I'm going to head out, man. I'll quiet. If you want to bring my one-on-one and interview me, we can do that. But the rest of this joke and stuff. <laughs> but you do you do that with us. You do do that to us, though. When we come on, though. Listen, but here's hey, he's he going to cry on the call. If you ask me, but bro, what we didn't shut off the mic. What's your point? Okay, okay, okay. Listen, listen. I can give you a plan and a strategy. Okay, what's your what's your what's your what's your plan? What's your plan and solution for Black America? I bet it's going back to Africa. I know that. Hold up, uh, hold up, but let him let him answer. What's your what's your plan and solution for Black America? Here's the here's the reality with Black America. No, 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 no. What's your plan and solution for Black America? I'm just telling you. If you get like a something that Larry Elder would say, Black America. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. Let him go. Y'all, see, this is all a joke. <laughs> all right, go ahead. What's your, what's your plan for Black America? Not Africans, but Black America. Okay. Black America, first, first and foremost, needs to stop voting for Democrats based on empty promises. So I believe that. Black right, here's your America, backup. He showed up again. So either Black America is going to have to start their own political party, or collectively become independent candidates to where we can go to both sides of the aisle. Alquan, I need a question to my man that he done. Uh, 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 let, let him flow. Let him flow. I don't want to say that he didn't get his opportunity. Black we respect America. you. We respect you in our circle. Oh my God. Go ahead. Go ahead. Black America needs to put themselves in a position where they can go to both sides of the aisle politically and negotiate for their interests, right? Do I think Black Americans deserve reparations? Well, yeah, I do. Do I think we are using the right strategy to gain reparations? No, because we're saying we want reparations while voting for a group, a party, that has already went on record saying they would never give us reparations. So for Black America, one, we need to go back to learning trades and skills that people will pay us for. Two, we need to start voting politically for our best interest, not so we can be a part of the club, the Democratic Social Club, and get nothing in return. So that's the solution for them. Okay, so, so, so in other words, you won't have any solution. It's, it's the vote exactly. and trust the white man. That's what you're trying to tell us. <laughs> oh, and Damn, the fool. Of American, the white man. No, I, I, I heard what you said. You said stop voting said, Democrat and, and vote Republican. What and I trust said, the white man. What I said, and let Native Americans on the asshole show, like he did. You're the host of this show, so you should at least be honest. I said black people need to learn skills. Trade. You just said yeah, vote people. and trust the white man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said, bro. Yeah, that was your main thing. Are you guys serious? The <laughs> bro, what's, what's that? What's... <laughs> hey, yo, Elquan. Yo, Elquan. I, I would like to ask the brother, should we like, move to like, Africa and vote uh, Republican? Uh, uh, okay, okay. Let uh, Truth Patrol go and then Lionel is next. 
Should we move to Africa and then vote Republican, or vote Republican and then move to Africa? <laughs> all right, I'm out of here. This you shit is crazy. Man. All right, all right, Linnell, he, he, Linnell got something. You ask me about what you wanted to. What's going on now? All right, all right, everybody, everybody, let's ask some serious questions. We, uh, all right, Linnell, Linnell, he's new, he's new. He's new, he's serious. Let, I'm going to go to the corner. All right, everybody, let, let, let not know. You claim to be serious, but you let a bunch of kids on your panel run interference. Uh, here's a grown man. Lionel is a grown man. Lionel's a grown hey, man. What's going on? But they acted like hey. they did. All right, but now Lionel, he's new. He's new. Lionel is new. Lionel is new. Let him let him rock. Lionel is new. He's new. But just know. Everybody else is muted. Everybody else is muted. Just know. You guys, these guys are immature. And these are the guys who it's going to take to build black America. So, so hey. while y'all joking on me, the only person who's joking is the is laughing is the white man at y'all. Because y'all think everything is funny. Only That's uh, why people want to leave America and go to Africa. Mm -hmm. Africa mm -hmm. who are they don't mind it. About their you life. got a lot of Africans coming here to the United States. This this is Listen, and half the course, who are about I know plenty of them. Then you got black folks who want to ask you what hey, what's and going on out there. Yeah, what's up? I saw right, so yeah. not... the movie Friday. Yeah, remember yeah. when Smokey told Q, Oh, Big Worm was just playing, and then Ice Cube said he had a gun, didn't he? He said, Yeah, he said, Who you know that play like that? Your enemy is not playing. So while y'all sitting up joking and laughing, this is why we got to go away from y'all. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but you don't need help from us in order to move to Africa. That's on you. White folks joking now, too. But here, here we go. I'm worried about what white folks doing, because they on top of you. Hold up, sir. But, but, but check it out. Hold up. We, we got uh, Lionel. He want to get something in real quick. What's going on? What's going on there? What's up? You, you got a little bit of feedback, too, by the way. Hello. All it is is a joke. Yeah, yeah. Okay, hey, hold on. Lionel, I got a question for you. Yeah. Hey, I just got an opinion. Let me let me say personal experience. Now I do hear like echo from you, Lionel. Oh, let me let me let me uh. uh this guy gotta go back to the reservation and get a better mic. Nah, see now nah, you said no nah, jokes. Now you see. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's heavy feedback right there. <laughs> okay, I guess he's coming back. The whole point is, man, y'all not ready to do nothing because y'all still in the adolescent phase of life. It's all a joke. He, ha, ha, ha. Meanwhile, you getting hold in America, bro. So, so, so the solution is to go in Africa. So the solution is so the solution is to go to Africa. No, go learn trade. Go get skills that people will pay you for. Like oh. my boy right now. My boy is in um he's in school becoming a, a, a um carpenter, right? Like, but is he taking that skills. carpenter stuff to Africa? Listen, brother, he's not even gonna pay <laughs> Africa this. He doesn't even care about Africa. But he's going to school to be a carpenter because he wants to start a company where he builds houses. He wants to start a construction company. That's what Black America needs to do. Do build you own schools. that construction company? Sir? Black America needs to build institutions that train our people to do the jobs that people will pay us for. Just now, why? Like hold on, I'm, I'm a little confused. I'm, I'm I'm confused here, sir. Uh, you guys say go to Africa. All the time, and now you're saying stay here and build a trade and build America up. I mean, uh, which one is it, man? This is for the people who want to stay in America. Like, okay, now, that's the overwhelming majority. <laughs> but your business is not with America. You love Listen. Africa, right? All right la, la, okay, Lionel's back. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. One thing you guys don't realize yeah. Marcus Garvey was inspired by Booker T. Washington. Actually, he was inspired by um, think tanks in Listen, London. Marcus Garvey, we ain't worried about him. Let's move on. Right, right, right. He was a knight of Columbus. Why is everything coming to, to a joke? Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. I'm not joking. Listen, I, 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 before we uh, get my man upset, let Lionel ask his questions just in case my man uh, wants to dip out. 
Yeah. Hey, what's going on, everyone? What's going on, Lionel? Hey, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Hey. You have headphones on right now? No, I took, I took the Bluetooth off. Yeah, at least the, I still got a little feedback. You got uh, uh, YouTube going too, or? Yeah, I'm on YouTube as well. Look like I'm yeah, yeah, pause that YouTube. Man, look, Marcus Garvey was inspired by Booker T. Washington. Now nah, you don't have to come off. Just pause the YouTube. <laughs> was not a Pan African. Booker T. Washington advocated for Black people to develop skills that people would pay them for so that they could be in control of their own economic future and basically have a permanent position within the society where people depended on what they knew. Uh, uh, so I'll bring you back on in a second, Ray Ray. Black people need to do the same thing if they want to stay in America. I'm going to have to start so, this shit. So, <laughs> can I, so can I ask you this? Well, hold on, Tyron. Hold, hold on, Tyron. Look, black people want to play games, joke around, hard code. You want people to take you serious, but you got a bunch of brothers that just want to joke around. We nah, well, uh, truth be told, they're trying to follow your lead. That's what you encourage. Your body, your body. Wait, I'm not joking. I'm not joking this out. I'm being serious. I'm being dead serious. I'm just telling you facts. This what brother, Marcus Tyrone, Harvey give you an example. This brother Tyrone, he's all about GE dollars. Yeah. yeah. I support you. These other two brothers. Not too much. It's, it sounds a little better so far. They sit up uh, asking silly questions that don't mean nothing. Meanwhile, they get marginalized and castrated economically in America. Where do these brothers live, bro? Where do these brothers live? So when you guys clown and try to talk about me, you guys need to look at why are we more worried about um, I'm going to call into in Tampa Bay, Florida, man. All right. So All right, Otto, before we do that, let, let lie now. Let's make sure you can get his uh, questions in real quick. Real quick. And then, uh, hot. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to wait. Oh, oh, wait. Pause, pause, pause. So one second. Somebody else just popped up. Now, all facts. All facts. Now, hold on. Matter of fact, uh, I'm going to uh, take Hawk out just for one second. I'm going to bring you right back because I guess I just got to say something to this other guy that popped up real quick. Yeah, now, all facts. What the fuck you want, man? Somebody just said, somebody just said we had all that and somebody burnt it down. You can't be saying stay in America. Yeah, then when you yeah, say build in America, yeah, well, they just go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Brandon, one second. What do you want, off X? Let me ask y'all. Uh, uh, <laughs> See this motherfucker coming, and then he's going to dip out. That's the one. That's the, for the for the people who know. That's the guy. Hold on, hold on. That's the guy that uh, helped take down the other channel I had. That fucker. He's banned from this channel. I'm one. To the saboteur, huh? Yep. Listen, I gotta go watch the fight. Let me tell you. Let me tell. Let oh me shit! I forgot all about that shit. No, Wilder. Let me put something on you. You got. If we say build in America, y'all gonna say, "Oh, they burned down Black Wall Street." So let's not build. If we say go to Africa, y'all gonna say Africa don't like you, and you got Africa. Guess what? Guess what? Let me cut the answer. Well, I'll, 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 real quick. Let, let's let. I'm, I'm sorry for that interruption with that guy. Uh, but I'll let Lionel get his question. Oh, well. About <laughs> <laughs> to watch the fight. <laughs> he was I'm already in one. Money. He was already he in one. <laughs> All right, so we'll, we'll let Lionel. Uh, 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 Lionel can say what you guys say. Then Hawk, uh, if you want to stick around, right. what you say? Hey, what's going on to the room, everybody? What's, what's going, going on, brother? Yeah. All right, good. That's good. Hey, I just wanted to tell you something, man. I've been listening all night. I'm 